Hello everyone, here's a new application of the in center x center lemma. This is quite an interesting um, statement here. It provides us a new proof of the, um, at least a partial proof of the nine point circle. Um, the statement of the problem is as follows. So we are given a triangle ABC with a Q, uh, and that triangle is an acute triangle with, with an orthocenter located at point H, or we named the orthocenter, I should say, as H. The feet of the altitude are simply D, E, and F. And we would like to show that the midpoint of AH lies on the circumcircle of triangle DEF. In a similar way, um, if we can show this result analogously, analogously, we can say that the midpoint of BH also lies on the circumcircle of triangle DEF and also the midpoint of um, uh, line segment CH also lies on that circumcircle of triangle DEF. Triangle DEF is the uh, pedal circle, uh, the, the, the pedal triangle. It's the triangle uh, which you can construct by using the feet of the altitude. So let me go ahead and draw a sketch. And on that sketch we can start the discussion. So I'll draw a relatively larger picture here. So we have an acute triangle, um, probably something like that. So we have given the vertices A, B and C here. And I will go ahead and draw the um, altitudes. The three altitudes will be, that's the first one here. The foot of the altitude here would be the point D. In a similar way, we can draw probably this altitude over here. That would be point E. And finally, we have the third altitude, probably like this. And that one, I will call it F. Now, we, we, we are told to construct um, the triangle DEF like this, this. And this here, um, yeah, so something like that I should have done, I guess, something like this, yeah. So let me actually go ahead and erase this, uh, uh, this part, so good. Um, and, and now let's, let's focus on, on the problem here. So, um, that's the ortho center. Um, well, the crux move in this problem to establish that the midpoint of AH, I don't know, probably some somewhere here, this point, how do I prove that this point lies on the circumcircle of this triangle DEF, right? And as I said, this is, I want to make it, make use of um, the in-center, x-center lemma. So I, I claim this is a direct application of that. So what I do is, and so, Obviously here, uh, this point, um, let's, um, so, so this point is, let's call it L. Uh, what I will do here is that to show that, so my claim, let's write it as a claim. So my claim is that H is the in center of triangle DEF. So H is the ortho center of triangle ABC, but I claim that H is the in center of triangle DEF and a simple um, angle chasing will suffice. Before I start the angle chasing though, let me remind you that we have some cyclic quadrilaterals. At least two of them will be useful for my purposes. Obviously F, H, D, B is a cyclic quadrilateral and it, the it's, it's obvious because these two angles here, these two opposite angles are measuring 90 degrees. So as a result, let me um, use a blue color, I guess. So you can, um, so you can simply draw a circle looking thing here. Um, so, oops. So we have something like this. And in a similar way, um, uh, you can also show that because uh, HDCE quadrilateral HDCE is also cyclic because two opposite angles HDC and HEC are 90 degrees each. They add up to 180, so they are supplementary. Therefore, this is also cyclic. So let me um, 
So something along these lines here. So we have a large um, cyclic quadrilateral here. And now I can do some angle chasing here. So for instance, um, consider, let's say, this angle over here. So on triangle AEB, this is a right triangle. So therefore, this would be simply 90 uh, minus A. And in a similar way, consider triangle ADC. So this is C. So therefore, this one here is 90 minus C. And finally, um, here, if this whole angle here, FBD is B. So therefore, this one uh, uh, would be 90 minus B here because consider triangle CFB, which is a right triangle. So if this is uh, B, this would be 90 minus B. Now we can do furthermore, for instance, consider this small circle here, uh, and particularly the, the this arc FH. It is subtended by this 90 minus A degree angle, but it is also subtended by angle FDH. So as a result, this angle here is also 90 minus A. And equivalently, um, consider, for example, um, uh, let's see, um, um, yeah, yeah, um, obviously, um, no, oh yeah, 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 obviously we have some more angles here. So for instance, if this angle here is B, we have a right triangle here, triangle ADB is a right triangle, so therefore this one is 90 minus B here. In a similar way, triangle AFC is also right triangle, this whole angle was A, so therefore this angle here would be 90 minus A, and finally this one here, this angle is, because triangle BFC is a right triangle, um, no, because triangle A, B, um, no, oh, yeah, because triangle B, E, C is a right triangle and this whole angle is C, therefore this one should be 90 minus C. Okay, so that's what I needed. Um, now let's continue the angle chasing here in this problem. Now, this 90 minus C angle subtends arc H, D, but that arc is also subtended by this tiny angle here, 90 minus C. And in a similar way, um, if you look at um, this angle here, uh, angle HDE, it subtends arc HE, but arc HE is simply subtended by this 90 minus A angle, 90 minus A. But I already have found that FDH is also 90 minus A, you can hardly see it, I guess. So therefore, um, DH is actually an angle bisector. Uh, in a similar way, um, one can establish that look at angle HED, it subtends arc HD on this big circle, but arc HD is also subtended by this 90 minus B angle here, so therefore we have a 90 minus B here. Uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, so this arc, how about the, the, this angle, sorry, so this angle will... Um, well, yeah, for this angle, in fact, I will uh, need another um, cyclic quadrilateral. So let me just go ahead and just draw the remaining cyclic quadrilateral here. A, E, F, H, F is also cyclic. So as a result, this angle F, E, H is subtending arc F, arc F, H, which is also subtended by this 90 minus B angle here. So we have a 90 minus B here. And the final angle here, it's obvious that on that new circle, third circle, this angle HFE is subtending arc HE, but that arc is also subtended by this angle HEAE, which is 90 minus C. Wow, so what we did is we showed that DH is an angle bisector, 90 minus A, 90 minus A. Similarly, EH is an angle bisector, and FH is an angle bisector, so therefore H, sure enough, is the in center of triangle DEF, but then consider our in center X center lemma. So um, the circumcircle of um, triangle DEF, uh, consider the circumcircle of triangle DEF, and so that circle is actually the nine point circle. So note that um, the um, circum, oops, circum, 
circle uh oops circle of um triangle um uh, def uh is the d a uh, nine point circle um so that's that's good for us so therefore all i need to show is that because the the, the circumcircle of def is the nine point circle remember the nine point circle will go through the foot of the altitudes and now let's make use of this fact that um the h is an angle bisector so my point the midpoint of segment a h which is l is on this angle bisector line all i need to show um, to establish that it's also on the circumcircle is to um, is to notice that because we are already given that a l is equal to a l h so let's write that down a l is equal to l h if i can show that a is in fact the x center of this triangle def or i should rather call it the dx center of the triangle then i'm done because l is the midpoint of that um of the in center and the x center so as the midpoint uh, recall that that point um, um, is on the circumcircle of triangle def but that's obvious because if i go ahead and extend this line for instance line df beyond f and line de beyond e i just realized that consider these two angles here notice that um um so we have um obviously this angle here um is vertical angle with this one here right and this angle uh, is simply equal to well uh, let's do a little bit of angle chasing here um, because there's a 90 degree angle here bdh is a 90 degree angle and fdh is 90 minus a so therefore this one should be not a the sum here is 180 minus a minus c plus a would give you so the internal angles should add up so for triangle fba the internal angles will add up to 180 and so therefore the only missing piece is is c here so if we have a plus c minus a minus c plus 180 here so that angle is c but then the vertical angle here is also c now let's consider uh, angle a f e here so what what is the measurement of this angle a f e so again we will make use of the similar um, idea here if this angle here is 90 minus b so angle b e f is 90 minus b uh, and the whole angle BEA is 90 degrees, so therefore this remaining angle here must be B. And on triangle AEF, the, the, the sum of internal angles should add up to 180, so therefore plus B and minus B cancels out. We have a 180 here, so minus C, therefore this angle is also C. Wow, we just showed that AF is in fact is um, an external angle bisector in a similar way. You can also find out that this one is B because it's vertical angle with this one, which is also B. So therefore, this is so uh, ray CE is an external angle bisector for triangle DEF. As a result, A is surely an X center of triangle DEF, and L is our claim is that um, L the point L is the midpoint of. Uh, the line segment AH, so therefore it is on the circumcircle of triangle DEF. But we already know that the circumcircle of triangle DEF is simply the nine point circle, so therefore we have simply proved that the midpoint connecting the vertex of our triangle to the orthocenter must lie on the nine point circle. So that's a beautiful result. Hope you enjoyed the proof and uh, see, you in our, see you in our next lecture.